I love it when my predictions come true. Brad makes a late charge and a very deserving winner of season 34. Yes, indeed. The Survivor finale. It was a really good finale. I really, really like this finale. I was looking forward to this finale for a lot of reasons. Oh, it was a great season. So oh, the whole season was amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and yeah, you're right. Very deserving winner. I would have been happy, actually, probably with like three or four of the last six winning. Yeah. So that's always good when you go into it, not worrying about who who you'd like to win. Um. Yeah, so we'll, we'll talk about the winner at the end, how about, but let's, let's start at the beginning of this finale, because... Okay, let's start right at the very beginning, before they even got into it. Right. Jeff was there with the live broadcast, yep. and he was saying, you know, it's been great, uh, and more history is going to be made tonight. Yes. And so I started thinking back already to... Yeah, exactly, that's right. What we were talking about <clears throat> with the idols. Mm -hmm. That's right, well, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, so immediately, though... Uh, the fallout from the the uh, the previous one was, yeah. you know, uh, Sarah had felt betrayed, so she voted Michaela out. Why not Sari? I still don't know. I still don't quite understand the Michaela vote, but because she's saying, "Well, Sari was fighting me, so I had to go uh, after one of her." But Sari is in trouble. Well, perhaps she didn't target Sari because she didn't know she knew there wouldn't be votes for Sari. I don't know. But Sari was definitely in trouble with Sarah. Sarah yeah. was not happy at all. And Sarah was mad at Ty as well. Because Ty had previously, you know, targeted or mentioned Sarah's name. I don't understand why. I mean, I guess I understand you don't want to be targeted. That's upsetting with when people that you think are on your side target you. However, getting upset about people targeting you is stupid in this game because that's the whole point of the game. You might be tar if I might be targeting you, and then how dare I get upset that, oh my God, you're targeting me? Are you kidding me? That's, That's terrible. So you have to target them without them knowing you're targeting oh, exactly. them. Exactly, but still. I couldn't figure out how Ty seems to be able to lie, like he's a terrible liar, but all of a sudden, oh, he was lying to Sari, no problem. Yeah, I, I don't know. And then, he, and then Sarah says, you uh, <clears throat> tell me the truth. Okay, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and then this is probably the worst thing. The thing I would respect to Ty and Troy Zan for this whole season was they had idols and they didn't tell anybody. Then until Ty goes and tells Brad, "I've got an idol. I've got two idols." Oh, Ty, why are you doing that? We're lovable, sweet, simple Ty. Ah, uh, and then Brad even himself says, "I'm going to great when he uses this to manipulate Ty." And bully him. Yeah, that was a bit much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, because then we had the uh, the challenge, which was pretty cool. That was the uh, the big compass puzzle at the end mm -hmm. of that uh, big. Well, that was the obstacle course, wasn't it? Yes, the mega maze. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, then the puzzle at the end. Um, and he, Culpepper wins that immunity. So and yeah, he was one. He thought he had it, and I was like. There's a piece missing. I can't. Oh, he in left one bag, in the bag. In the bag. That's right, yeah. <laughs> but it was also a reward, and he chose. Now, this is where I think it was a mistake, because if he really wanted Ty to work with him, because he had just previously been saying, you got to give me one of your idols, and I'll uh, uh, you know, help you out kind of thing, to prove you, trust me. If you really want to use Ty, wouldn't it make sense to bring him along? No. You don't think so? Because all it did was make Ty go... Brad's not. Because not really I thought it. Troy Zan and Sarah were going to be easier to work with, so I thought it was a good move. I think it was a good move, except for what he had previously said to Ty, trying to get Ty to trust him. Yeah, I just don't think he was as worried about Ty. Maybe not. I would be his two idols. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> but again, I think he just thought, well, I can bully Ty, and he will. But that bullying do my backfired. Yes. It backfired. Nobody wants to be bullied. And, and it backfired for both of them. Yeah. It ended up costing Brad in the end. That's true. It, it, <laughs> it did. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then, so we get to the tribal council, and we're, the question is, well, we got a lot of questions about this tribal. This was a good, <laughs> good tribal. Um, my first thing is, you know, is Ty is considering maybe playing his idol. He didn't give it to Brad. He's considering maybe playing it. For somebody else, I'm going, no, 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 play it 
for yourself. You have two. Guaranteed Final Four. Exactly. I mean, at this point, it's an individual game. Having being nice to one of your allies, friends, at this point really doesn't mm. matter. <laughs> so we get into this tribal. So what do you want to say about this tribal? Well, it, it, this is what goes... If, if you look back to last week's podcast that we did. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the neat thing, too. We're at final six now. Yes. Okay, idols can be used up till final five. So think about okay our next tribal council. Troyzan has an idol. Yes. <clears throat> if he's feeling at all insecure, he's he's safe. Ty has two idols. He better play one just because because <laughs> he's got two. He can only use them up to final five. So the next two tribals he should be playing an idol. Yes, he's final four guaranteed. Unless he doesn't play an idol and gets voted out. <laughs> um, next uh, tribal. Sarah is totally safe because she has that legacy advantage idol, which is playable only at six and 13. So there's three that are potentially completely safe. And I mean, if one of them doesn't win the immunity idol, that means one other person is safe. <laughs> there's only going to be two people that they can vote for that. They, well, they may not know that the other people have idols, but there's only two people that potentially could go home. And Ty could even give one of his idols to somebody else. He could. <laughs> oh my God. There would only be one person. That would be amazing. <laughs> this is the exact scenario we had talked about. About There's all these idols out there. You know, they could get played. And then another one could come out. And another one. I'm going, well, and then Ty could even play one for somebody else. And you know what? Yeah. It, so, so we ended up with the scenario where one of the people that had idols didn't win immunity. So we had the fourth person safe. So Brad was safe. Sarah was safe at six. Troy's end is safe because he has an idol. Ty should have been safe for two more. So four people playing idols or or have immunity. And then Brad or Ty gives it away to Aubrey. Five people safe. Bye-bye, Sari. Poor Sari. <laughs> oh. I love the sucks. reaction to the jury. It was hilarious. <laughs> they're, just, they're loving it. <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Uh, it would suck to go home that way, but at least... You got, you didn't get voted out. You're like, damn. I thought he was going to say something like, Sari, the <clears throat> tribe has not spoken, but you're still going home. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You're with no, no votes. votes. First person to go with <laughs> no votes. Uh, and people were getting teary and gave her applause as she, as she walked out. Well, that's the whole, you know. I'm not very good, I, I but I'm going to come out and try this. But and... she is a great player. She's one of the great players in Survivor history. The things that she has done and manipulated, she was the architect of that classic uh, getting Eric to give away his immunity because it'll show that he's... And we were talking about this during the finale too. How many challenges has she won over her career? None. And how many immunity idols did she find yeah, in none. her career? None. Like, and she's one of the all-time longest players. That, That's right. Yeah. And but she's a sweet mom, right? Yeah, exactly. So anybody can play this game. <laughs> um, so crazy, crazy, crazy tribal. It was awesome, though. Absolutely <laughs> awesome. I loved it. I love it when a plan comes together. We were talking <laughs> about it, and it actually happened. Yeah. So so now we're down to. Uh, what are we at now? To five. five now. Um, and then, how did we get down to, uh, we had two more eliminations? Yes, the, the one with the ball bouncing. That's uh, right, that's ball, right. Ball bouncing through the That's right, obstacle. yeah, so the crazy ball immunity, and Culpepper wins that. So four, yeah, kills four it. wins. Like, nobody even had one ball. But... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's right. So then we have another people scrambling, who's going to do what? So, Aubrey had a good suggestion. Ty wants Aubrey out. Brad is talking too... This is where Brad was really talking too tough to Ty. This is where the bullying... That's right. And, and Ty wanted to get out uh, Troy Zan. No, he wanted to get out Aubrey. Well, he wanted both. He wanted both. And then, then it was potentially... Okay, when he was talking... Because he was talking to Sarah, and they said, well, let's get Aubrey out. But then and they all he, went, okay, yes, then, we all agree. Then he, then he changed. Then he changed after the bullying. He goes, I want Troy Zan out. I know, because Brad's going, I, we want Aubrey out. And, I mean, Ty's going, that's who we want out as well. Yeah, and it's like, you better over, you're going to, you better. I, 
Well, then I don't want them out. I don't want her out anymore. If you're going to yell at me like that, I'll... <laughs> exactly. they all wanted the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was kind of kind of nuts. Uh, unfortunately, Aubrey was voted out. Aubrey's Aubrey's a good player. I think I yes. like Aubrey. I think she's a great yeah. player. Love to see her uh, play again and and get well, get a little bit further at least. <laughs> <laughs> so our final challenge: keys, bags, obstacles, a slide, and a puzzle. Those those are a lot of stairs. Oh yeah! Anytime they're making you go up and down stairs. Do you remember that season? Days. The season that uh, I think it was the season that uh, uh, Boston Rob won. It was the final. I think it was was it the final immunity, a and it had it was a challenge with a lot of stairs, and he was like. <laughs> barely making it up the stairs but he won and he just he couldn't get down the stairs he was up there just well and i saw down. sarah was flying up the stairs and coming down <laughs> going this yeah girl's fit <laughs> yeah she is they all seem to be doing quite well though i, I nobody was stopping halfway up the stairs no no but of course call pepper wins again ties like is that the record they said five individual uh, immunity ties, wins? yes yeah so five individual immunity wins so this is where things get really interesting. We have four people left. Generally, the consensus is whoever wins immunity chooses basically the final three. But it doesn't have to be that way. No. It does not have to be that way. Brad wants Ty gone. Troy's didn't actually even question that. Yeah. It's like, why? Like, honestly, he, he should have got rid of Sarah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> um... So Brad was a bit too cocky. So Troy, uh, and it was all because Ty was, uh, you know, lying there. It, yeah, Troy's hand was even tempted to tell Ty. And Brad said, "No, no, we shouldn't tell Ty. We shouldn't tell Ty that we're voting for." Uh, I'm sure word got around for him because that was the the alternate plan. If Sarah and Ty were going, we're not sure which one of us they're going to vote for. Yeah, so we could. Do both, the both what and take both, it to fire, and I was hoping they'd go to fire because that's just fun to watch. Oh, I, I would have loved to have seen that. It, it didn't happen. It was there was no tie. It was tie. So yeah. <laughs> so if you're Sarah, I mean that plan sounds good. Okay, if you don't know if it's voting for you or me, let's make it a tie, and we'll have to deal with it. But I, yeah, you're right. There must have been some leaking of they're probably going to target tie. Well, I because think because otherwise, because Sarah would then. Well, why would I? Why would I make it a, a tie so we have to do fire if they're voting for tie? Cause and to me, that was the, 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 what cost Brad, the, the bullying part, because he was mad at Ty. Yeah. And Ty refused to bow down to him and give him the idol. Mm -hmm. And it, so it was like, I'm gunning for Ty. That's it. And he was just... These his, people, his all, it happens all the time. <laughs> people get too paranoid about one person and they're gunning for them. Oh, we got to get rid of them. Got to get rid of them. And then... They, Take a step back and go, up. who would you want in the final with me? Yes. So I, I wrote my notes as we're doing the did Brad make a mistake? Can he beat Sarah? And I actually wrote before we got to the <laughs> voting, Sarah wins. It, it she should win. There's no reason why with that final three of uh, Brad, Troy Zan, and Sarah that Sarah shouldn't win. And Brad did not play a great game. He was pretty good in camp, but mm -hmm. it was only because he won all those challenges. And oh, he would have been gone a long time before that. And, yeah. And so, and it was Ozzy who was. Uh, triumphing going, yeah i'm gonna be in your corner because he won five challenges and that was his plan right it's in interesting the reaction to the jury i like the way they did the jury this time the more open question and answers but some players seem to think that's the way you play the game you win the immunity win 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 immunities that's, and that's that's part of it I and mean, that helps but that's not the whole thing no that and gets you on the jury just as as <laughs> ozzy has proven every time he's played um and and these people that are too hung up on you've got don't lie don't no that's part of the game winning the challenge is part of the game lying and deceiving and outwitting is part of the game <clears throat> and they all started uh, coming down on Sarah because they're oh you mean you didn't really like me she you did, hurt my actually. personal feelings she, she really said no did. I do I do and they all started laughing oh yeah yeah right right you were just I'm well, still surprised that no player has brought this up I'd bring this up if I was one of the final three, and they're asking me, why did you like... Okay, have you ever played Monopoly with your family? These are people that you love, <laughs> that you care about. But when you're playing a game like that, it's cutthroat. <laughs> you landed on my park place with my hotel. Pay up. Oh, here, let me roll the dice again. No! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, it's, it can cause arguments. It does all the time. 
but that's the way I would look at this. It, it is a game you're playing. I mean, unfortunately, yeah, people are going to get upset. But if you're, I think if you're a good player, you will realize that once you get voted out. Michaela was awesome. Yeah. I don't know if you, anybody watched the Ponderosa video with her after she got evicted. She was like almost a totally different person. So happy to have been able to play. It was nice. Michaela. Loved, loved the game. Loved the way people were playing. And Zeke was going, I mean, you I, you took my jacket and then you <laughs> wore got me out and I'm still council. voting for you. Like, That's right. Obviously not taking it personally. Yeah, I think I, I respect the jury members that don't take things personally versus the bitter ones. The bitter ones annoy me a bit. But, um, but they all seem to be upset. But when the final votes came. Yeah, we had. Well, we were trying to figure out who would. I When I'd written down the ones I knew would probably vote for Sarah would be Zeke, Andrea, Michaela, Suri and Ty. I had five for Sarah, and then I had Ozzy and Debbie definitely for, for Brad. I wasn't sure about Haley. She, I thought she might vote Sarah, but she might have respected Brad's play. Because I think it was when the bit came out about the Advantage Idol that they found under Michaela's chair. Oh, Michaela, that, ha that. Haley didn't know about that. Yeah. And she said, oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah, wow. That's cool. that's, yeah. It, and I think and that's I love how Michaela later. reacted to that. Yeah, you got the one of the... And then you use it to vote me out. That's brilliant. <laughs> Sierra, I wasn't sure, because she was allied with Brad for so long. Yeah. Um, but she also was very friendly with Sarah, so I might have respected Sarah for using her <laughs> advantage to get rid of her. Aubrey, I wasn't sure either. I, I thought she might lean to Sarah, but I couldn't quite tell. Yeah. So, so we had... What was the final votes? Do you remember? 7-3. Uh, it was 7-3. So I didn't see who was the other person that voted for Brad. Did you see? I don't call no. Okay, I well, thought it was Aubrey, but I... Yeah. I'm, I'm not but, totally yeah, sure. I... So obviously one of them voted for, for Brad. But Sarah wins. But we're looking at my predictions. I thought this could be a tie. And they actually answered the question of what happens <laughs> in a tie. The, the one who didn't get any votes or the l least votes, I guess. Mm-hmm then votes for one of them and chooses who wins. God, that'd be a lot of pressure on you. And it would be probably at the live reunion. And you'd be going, oh my God, really? Well, it would have been Troy's hand. In this case, it, it would have been Troy's hand, yeah. of course, him and Brad were... Yeah, so Brad would have won if it had been a tie. He also would have won had he taken a tie with him. So, yeah, yes. crazy. That's why, I mean, when I predicted that at the beginning, when I said, if I'm Sarah, I want... Brad and Troy's end with me at the end because I think I can win. And sure enough, she, I mean, she didn't choose it, but she got those. She got what, she, what helped got her, yeah. Three and I think the only thing that could have been maybe easier for her was Ty and Troy's end. She might have got. Not so much. She won. She won anyway. <laughs> she got enough votes. And she was very deserving. She played an amazing game. I really liked how she played. Um, yeah, very deserving of winning it. Uh, I wonder, I'd love to hear what Tony thought of her winning. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. <laughs> Anything else you want to say on this season? Because, I mean, I just loved this season. That was amazing. Got a great winner at the end. Yeah, you know, the, I mean, the Game Changers was a great concept mm -hmm. because the people that did come back did truly understand the game and mm -hmm. knew Except for a few people that we pointed out earlier, like Michaela and Ty, that I thought could have made some moves and mm -hmm. had a chance and then didn't, and you're gone after mm -hmm. that. But the people that did make the moves stayed in the game for a while, and mm -hmm. ultimately, that's what it's about. Now, we're going to start a, a 35th season yeah, with brand new people now, yep. and it's going to be a little different, because now you're going, I don't, I don't know any of these people. It's I always the way I find <laughs> when, when you have a new season, the preview is kind of, eh. Because you don't know anybody. And then the first couple of episodes, it takes you a while to get into it. Um, but then you'll you'll love them just as much as you love these players and, and so on. I do like the returning seasons every now and then because it's it's like watching an all-star game, basically. <laughs> so, I mean, I think there's been rumors that they might do an all-winners season now that there's enough winners. If they can get enough of the winners back, that'd be kind of cool, too. So then you don't have the worry of, you won and she won. Like, well, you won twice, so you... Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, Sandra's never winning again. I don't know if she'll play again. But that's her job. <laughs> it's her job to <laughs> go out and win a million dollars. But there you go. Awesome season of Survivor. Looking forward to the next one. We'll be back with that one as well to give you our thoughts. And, uh, yeah, until then, have a great summer. <laughs>